Today we're in the middle of the beautiful desert of Joshua Tree, California, and we're here to talk to you about tire combinations. So hi, I'm Preston from Jensen USA, um, mediocre photographer, mediocre mountain bike rider. But today I'm a mediocre video host and I'm here to talk to you about tires. So tires do seem really complicated, but they're really not that complicated. Um, they're inexpensive um, things that you can switch out on your bike that'll make a huge difference in the way your bike rides. I know it can be confusing with all the different tread patterns and all the different compounds and everything. So I figured today we'd talk about some of the best uh, combos for a grippy front tire and a fast rolling rear tire. So uh, we're gonna kick this off talking about Maxxis, uh, Maxxis tires. So Maxxis is basically the industry go-to. Any bike you buy nowadays has a Maxxis on it. We're gonna talk about basically the really grippy front Asagai and the fast rolling Dissector. So the Asagai is my personal favorite tire. I have it on my personal bike. I've run this combo um, in lots of places here in Southern California. Um, I ride a lot of Greer Ranch out in Murrieta, California, uh, Sky Park, and this tire is great there. So the Asagai was developed by uh, Greg Minar, 22-time uh, World Cup winner. He took different parts of the DHF, the DHR, the um, high roller, and the shorty. We really wanted to develop something that wasn't gonna get caked up with soil and uh, would be really grippy in a wide range of conditions. This tire is personally my favorite tire. I don't think I ever wanna run anything else. Um, I have it on my personal bike. I love it. So one of the gripes that people have with the Astagai is that it's uh, really draggy, but that's because it provides so much grip. So one of the ways to offset that is to get a fast rolling rear tire and the Dissector pairs up really well with the Astagai. So the Dissector was developed by Troy Brosnan, uh, the Australian two-time junior world champion, um, two-time runner-up uh, for the overall World Cup. It has low profile knobs, um, so it doesn't get caught up on roots and rocks and things like that. It rolls really smoothly, but it also has um, nice knobs on the side that are pretty close together, so it provides a lot of traction in corners. So even though it rolls fast and the knobs aren't very tall, it, uh, it does a great job of gripping and rolling quickly, um, which is really confidence inspiring. Uh, the Askai and the Dissector uh, is a wonderful combination. I've run it on my bike for four or five months and I have absolutely no complaints. Front tire is extremely grippy, rear tire is fast rolling. Um, I don't think I would have any complaints about running this anywhere and I don't think you would either. Uh, this is a solid combination that should definitely be looked at by anybody thinking about getting new tires. For our next tires, we're going to talk about specialized tires. Uh, one of the things a lot of people don't know is that Specialized started with tires. Uh, I actually got to sit in on a, a meeting with Specialized and I was really impressed with how much technology and time and effort they put into building their tires. So um, if you're looking for a grippy set of tires, then uh, maybe the Butcher and the Eliminator are for you. So the Butcher is a gravity-based tire that's extremely uh, grippy. One of the things that Specialized likes to do is build their side knobs really close to each other so when conditions are really dry and really flat, you won't basically wash out. Another thing they like to do is build their knobs with this sawtooth pattern. It basically, it helps provide a wider contact patch for braking and traction, but it also helps allow the tire to roll quickly. It doesn't basically eliminate some of the drag. So the Butcher is very grippy. Um, when pairing up with the fast rolling Eliminator, you have a really good combination for grip and speed. So the Eliminator is another tire that's uh, low profile, so it rolls very quickly. It has close side knobs, so again, it um, helps you provide, basically provides traction uh, when conditions get really dry and flat. You won't wash out on flat turns. One of the things I really like is um, the center knobs. There are offset knobs. It goes from two knobs to three knobs, back to two knobs. So the three knobs are really useful for transitioning from the center of the tire to the outside of the tire. As you lean your bike over to the side, it provides a lot of grip, so it doesn't feel like you just kind of give out and your bike wants to fall over. It feels really smooth as you transition from the center to the outside knobs. Even though the profile in the center of the tire is really low, the outside of the knobs are really tall and it helps provide a lot of traction. So if you're looking for a set of tires that provide a lot of traction, um, this might be your go-to. So it kind of might not be your go-to for uh, the companies when you're thinking about replacing the tires on your bike. But honestly, they put a lot of time and effort into developing their products. And I truly believe that if you're looking for an efficient, fast rolling tire that still provides a lot of grip, this might be the combo that you're looking for. So up front, we had the Pinner Pro. This front tire was actually developed by Aaron Nguyen um, exclusively. Actually, Aaron Nguyen's from right down the road, about 15 miles from here. He uh, built this tire um, to provide a lot of grip uh, while still rolling quickly. 
So one of the ways that the Pinter Pro accomplishes fast rolling speeds while still being really grippy is by using a profile on top of the knobs that's really smooth and also having an open tread pattern that basically allows soil and rocks and everything to pass through the tires without getting caught up and slowing your tire down. So I can see how the Pinter Pro really caters to Gwyn's style and if you're looking for a faster front tire, this might be the one you want to consider. And for the rear, we're running the Nevagal Pro 2. Um, this tire has actually been around for a long time, but a couple of years ago it got reimagined. It's now claimed to be 50% faster. It has nice low uh, profile knobs, so it actually rolls really quickly. Uh, it doesn't get built up with soil and rocks and things like that. One of the things I really like about it is that there's also a transition knob between the center and the outside knobs. So rolling over, it rolls, or it feels really smooth transitioning from the center to the outside. It provides a lot of grip, but it's still efficient. So if you're looking for an efficient set of tires, um, this might be what you're looking to get. So these are a few of our favorite tire combinations. Uh, basically what you want is something grippy up front and fast rolling in the rear. If you want to learn about these tires or different tire combinations, we have a pretty detailed um, tire guide in our blog below. If you have any other questions, you can always hit up one of our gear advisors and they can help you out. But we're curious, what are some of your favorite tire combinations? You can let us know in the comments below. Um, thank you guys for watching, and as always, keep pedaling.